Joining me now is newly sworn in Douglas Shire Mayor Lisa Scomazon. Lisa, welcome to Newsport. Thank you, Michael. Um, I've got to ask, interesting campaign. Um, you're now in the top job. First and foremost, how's it feel to be Douglas Shire Mayor? I'm very proud. You know, it's um, something that I think anyone, any councillor would be proud to uh, achieve that result. So, and the good thing about it is um, having the top job, you'll be able to make a lot of changes that are, are needed within the Shire. Mm -hmm. So um, working along with the councillors, uh, which I think I've got a very good team, um, I think we'll do very well. All right, great, Lise. Um, I'm just gonna fire away some, some quick questions yeah. just on local topics. Yeah. Um, um, all right, we'll kick off with water. Lisa, what's, first and foremost, what specifically is happening right now in the Shire in regards to our um, daily water security? I mean, how's it all looking and how are we going forward? Um, it's looking pretty good at the moment. Our reservoirs are over 90% full. So that gives us good three days to four days of water back up. So they've had extra um, tasks that they're doing. They're actually um, going along our water pipes to make to have a look to see how many leaks we've got. So far, um, they've had over 400 leaks, which they've mm -hmm. fixed, which saves us approximately about a million litres of water a day. So they were, the staff are working very um, hard and trying to Come back, combat all the um, leaks that we have, which they're working quite well. Um, but as it stands, we're having where our water, like we, we've got enough water that we can have a shower, we can have a drink, yeah, and we can, yeah, it's still everyday life. The only thing we're still on um, restriction for, so that just yeah, stops no, people. Actually, at least just on level four restrictions. Yeah. I'm hearing um, unofficially, unconfirmed, yeah. that things our restrictions won't be reduced at least until um, the end of May. Is that true or not true? Um, I'm not too sure about that one. We haven't discussed that in council, which we are, you know, the next three days will be in council. So there's questions we can ask the CEO, yeah. what's happening with the water restrictions. Mm. Um, the rain, hopefully it's just about all gone. So they can work a little bit harder. Um, we've got new, um, oh God, what do they call that? New um, equipment up at the yes. um, wine bull. Yeah. Um, water tank um, plant so we're that's producing water for us a little bit quicker okay. so it's but, all coming along okay okay so, so at the moment it's as good as it could be right now exactly and okay. I think we need to um, just rem remember that we did have a natural disaster and our water did was very um, badly damaged mm. and the staff have worked very hard to get it to where it is today very quickly Quade's Dam I mean you would you would have heard about this yes, um, yes. a lot of people have written to Newsport about this just your general view about some community members suggesting that Quade's Dam is a, is a serious option for our water supply going forward? Um, well, first of all, we, uh, Quade's Dam's not in our shire. Um, the second thing is um, it's just not putting pipes from Quade's Dam down into, and I believe it's Port Douglas. There's a lot involved. So they've done a quick costings to it, the staff has. It's about 60 million mm -hmm. to bring pipes mm -hmm. down. Once you get the pipes here, you've then got to look at a water plant and then... So it's, are you... But at this stage, do you think you'd be ruling ruling out that ever happening, this yeah. ever happening? Yeah. It's, it's not a realistic possibility. No, it's like, you know, it's. I think we can come to, uh, up with better ideas mm -hmm. that are a little bit more cheaper for that residents of this shire. Understood. Um, moving on to Daintree Ferry. Yes. Uh, we talked about this. The last time this was mentioned in council was July when a motion from Roy Zemataro got put forward mm -hmm. about putting this out to tender another buyer. Um, again, question without notice, you probably don't know. but. Any developments or any news regarding the Daintree Ferry as it stands right now? Um, I have spoken to the CEO last week about this, mm -hmm. so she will bring that to um, a council workshop in the mm -hmm. very near future, so we can move forward pretty quickly with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the marina, um, last week Newsport revealed that the marina was potentially up for sale. Yep. Um, how do you see the marina? A lot of comments from the Douglas Shire residents about you know it looking drabby and in need for refurbishments and renovations and restoration. Um, also, the where the area where the um, on Dixon Inlet there, where in the inlet was the restaurant there, it's an area that's kind of just just starting to age and date and mm. so on and so forth. Just your take on the marina and the need for it to um, be bought and then you know refurbished. Yeah, look, yeah, the marina is looking very sad, you know, and it hasn't been maintained. So, you know, I think it'd be great to have a new buyer in the region to be able to look at the buy the marina. Um, work closely with our town planners mm. and let's get it up and running because that could be a very important hub for our shire especially for tourism so it's um i, I welcome you know um anyone that wants to come into the shire and start their business 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Lise, we touched on this last week, Mossman Mill. Yes. Um, just, again, just the, the continual um, reaction to what's taken place and just the conversations you've had with local residents mm -hmm. about the future of Mossman and how Mossman looks uh, in the next six to 12 months. Yeah. Um, the Mossman Mill, I haven't been updated, so I'm not too sure what's happening with that. Um, I've spoken with um, some more of the farmers. Mm -hmm. They're a little bit optimistic. They're kind of mm -hmm. like, you know what, let's just... The biggest thing they want to do is get this cane off out of the fields mm -hmm. and that uh, everyone will be pretty mm -hmm. much happy at the moment. So I think um, the administrators may be in discussion with people. I'm not too sure about that. We haven't really been updated. So, but um, I'm hoping that there's somebody out there for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, one that you've been closely following, Noah Range. We, yes. we just had Easter. Um, reports from locals in the Daintree that they had a mixed Easter, a lot of day visitors, not so much campers or overnighters. Um, just the way that Noah Range is currently performing and the numbers through the Daintree at the yeah. moment. Look, it's um, it's open, and I think the day trippers, are, um, you know, they're getting there. And the good thing about it, slow steps. Um, I think it's still a little bit unsure with the um, tourism about if people can, if they get up there, can they get back? What's your message to those watching this from interstate and across the world, Lisa, about coming to oh, Douglas Shire? Oh, it's open. Come and, you know, come and have a look. You know, it's um, it's probably not the same as what you've seen it if you've been here previously, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's slowly getting back to normal. And uh, we've got a lot of big jobs ahead of us, as in our water and roads, but we're getting there and north of the river is a beautiful place to visit. Mm -hmm. So I encourage anyone that's coming, um, just check to make sure that everything's okay, the roads are open, but mm -hmm. please go and have a look, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And last and least, um, during your campaign, you made a pledge that um, residents of the Douglas Shire are going to see a level of transparency yeah. they've never ever seen before from Douglas Shire Council, right. a level of communication. Can you just specifically just describe what that looks like and what that means? Okay, um, what that means to me is councils need to be completely open and allow the community to come to them. So I'm going to be looking at um, meetings with the public, with their councillors, mm -hmm. and it, we've still got um, discussion on it, but I like to see like a, you know, five minute with the, with the councillors, come in mm -hmm. and tell us what the issues are. Let's take it to a workshop and discuss it. Um, I like to see our uh, monthly meetings will be changed, the format will be changed. Um, I've already spoken with the CEO on that. So mm -hmm. what'll happen, first up is a, the CEO will do a monthly report, so will the mm -hmm. me. And what that shows is just what we've been doing within that month. So it's very important that we take the community with us along this, along this mm -hmm. way. And um, and there shouldn't be any secrets, you know, with their ratepayers. The ratepayers pay for everything mm -hmm. that we have here. Mm -hmm. So let them know what they're paying for. And, um, it, and if there's things that are problems, let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. You know, it, you're better off being upfront with people mm -hmm. and uh, letting them know the good and the bad and the ugly. In terms of the way council communi communicates, have come under heavy scrutiny the past four months in the way that it handled Jasper and so on. Yep. So you're saying that council is going to be a lot more timely um, and, and disseminate information a lot more um, accurately, quicker, um, et cetera, et cetera. Well, this is, that's what I'm trying to achieve. So, yeah. and I've always said the last four years is that, you know, council unfortunately doesn't do communication well. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we've got to work on. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it'll take a little while to get that going, but um, let's get it happening. And, um, I, I, you know, I believe that flood the community with information. Mm -hmm. Let them process it, let them read it. If they don't want to read it, so be it. Mm -hmm. But give them the information yeah. that they need. Mayor Skomazon, thanks for your time and uh, best of luck for the next four years. Thank you, Michael. <laughs>